Hello everyone and welcome back to another Luminar Neo tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the color transfer tool. In the first part of the video, we're going to look at the description and also all the controllers available in this tool. After that, I'm going to show you a few examples of editing with this tool to make sure you can get most out of it. So if you're ready, we are starting right now. Starting from the beginning, let's look at the definition of the color transfer tool. Luminar Neo's color transfer tool lets you instantly blend the colors and luminosity of a reference photo into your own image. You can fine-tune the look using color and luminosity intensity sliders and create smooth transitions with the smoothing controls. If you want even more precision, the tool has a feature that it's called Match Similar Objects Colors. This allows you to transfer colors between specific elements like skies, cars, people and more. Now moving into Luminar Neo, where we're starting in the catalog module. The first thing we're going to look at are our sample files. Now, as always, if you want to follow me along and do the edit on your own computer, all you need to do is to jump into the description of this video, follow the link there and download the sample files now. Once you download them, you will see folder called Color Transfer Tool. Inside, there will be two folders reference images and sample images. Now the sample images are those we're going to edit and the reference images are those we're going to use as a reference for the color transfer tool. So to start with, import the sample images into the application and we can start. Now in this first part, we're going to look at all the different controllers available in the tool so you know how to use them and how to get the most out of this incredible tool. Now for this part of this tutorial, we're going to select the image with the lady sitting on the grass and we're going to move it into the edit module. Now we're going to look at the color transfer tool. To find it, we need to go into our main editing toolbar and navigate into the creative section. In the creative section, the tool is the second one from the top and to open it, just click on its name. Now let's make it nice and visible and let's have a look at it. So we have the drop down box and number of sliders. Now, as you can notice, all the sliders and controllers are grayed out. The only active part is the reference selection. Well, that itself tell you that the first thing you need to do is to pick a reference image. So to do that, let's click on the gray drop down box. And by doing that, we will see a view similar to the sky library in the sky AI tool. As you can see, you can see another gray drop down box, plus sign button and number of images. Now, if you never use this tool before, you will see five images that come with the application, which you can try. I have additional two images here that come with the sample files. However, for this image, we're going to use one of the images in the sample files and I'll show you how to add it. So to do that, we're going to click on the plus sign button, which will open a new window. From here, navigate towards the location of the sample files and open the reference images. Now, looking at the image, you can see that it has that kind of fantasy feel. The lady has a beautiful dress sitting in beautiful garden and looking very much like in fantasy movie. So for the reference image, we're going to use image from very popular series coming from Amazon called Rings of Power. Looking at the image, it has a beautiful warm golden feel with lovely contrast. And I would really like to get the same feel on our photo. So what we're going to do, we're going to select the image and click on open. By doing that, the image will be loaded into the application and it will appear on the top of our reference drop-down box. So immediately you can see what image you're using as reference. Also, at the same time as you apply it, immediately the amount slider increased to 60 
which is the default value, and all the other controllers become available. And at the same time, looking at the image, the color and luminosity from the reference image was already applied to the photo. Now to see it, let's go to the top right corner of the tool where we can click on the eye icon. And here we can see the before and after. And you can see that it did very good job transferring the colors from the photo. So this is how you pick a reference image. Now let's go through the other controllers. So starting from the top, we have the amount slider. The amount slider controls the overall amount of the look. So when you bring it all the way down, it completely disappear. And when you bring it all the way up, it applies 100% of the color and luminosity transfer. Again, as I mentioned, by default, it's on 60. Moving on, we have a color intensity and luminosity intensity. Again, when you apply the reference image, both of these sliders are on 100%. This is a great option as it allows us to control the amount of color transfer between the images, again, by bringing 100% of the color or bringing no color at all, basically just transferring the luminosity. And vice versa, you can bring all the luminosity or no luminosity at all. By default, just like with the color, it's on 100 Finally, to really fine tune the transfer, we have uh, two more options, transition smoothing and color smoothing. Now the transition smoothing is very delicate. When you increase it all the way up, it will make quite a bit contrast between the luminosity and color, making it a little bit more natural. However, the volume or the amount of the color and luminosity transferred from the reference image onto your image will be less visible. After that, we also have an option of color smoothing. This by default is on 30. However, you can bring it all the way down. And by doing that, you will start to see a difference between different areas of the color in the image, where by increasing it all the way up, the different color areas will very smoothly transition between each other. So to start with, I suggest you to start with the default 50 on the transition smoothing and 30 on the color smoothing. Now, finally, we have one more option here, which is a simple check button called match similar object colors. And to show you how this option work, we're gonna move on another sample file. So to do that, we can navigate to our film strip, but if you don't see it, just click on this little icon here where you can hide it and unhide it. On our film strip, I have a second image where this time we have an image of this lady looking into far with beautiful garden at her back. Now to speed up the process, I have already applied the color transfer to the photo and to access it and see the edit, we're gonna go into our main editing toolbar, go all the way up into the edits and in the edits, I already have the color transfer tool open. Now, just like before, let's jump into the reference where I have imported the reference image with a lady on it. You already know how you would do it. You would just click on the plus sign, then navigate to the location of the reference image, select it and click on open. So we have this photo selected. You can see that I have kept the same default values, 60 on the amount, 100 on the color and luminosity intensity, and then 50 and 30 on a transition smoothing and color smoothing. While here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna check the match similar objects colors. Once we do that, what the application is going to do, it's gonna scan again the reference image and look for elements on it. Things like your faces, bodies, people, car, skies, buildings, and so much more. Once it recognizes them, it marks down the colors, and then it's going to transfer them into your image. Now, for this to really work, you want to have a similar elements on your photo. Well, in our example, that works very well, as we have an image with a lady on it with that kind of similar feel, and on our image as well, we have a lady standing here, standing in the similar setting. Once the application 
apply the edit using the much similar object colors, you can see the difference. However, it's actually much closer to the reference photo. Before we have applied the much similar object colors, everything was warmed just like the skin and the person. Where now, by checking the much similar object colors option, we have the same warmth as is on the reference image on the actual person and a similar green colors on the background. Now, I think to really see it, let's check the before and after. And you can see that still the color and luminosity was transferred, but it's much closer to the reference image. Once you apply it, of course, that you can go ahead and apply more of the effect if you want using the amount slider. And you can again fine tune the result using the color intensity, luminosity intensity, transition smoothing and color smoothing. However, I think that for this image, this actually works very well. And finally, to show you an extreme example of using the color transfer tool, we are gonna use the third sample image. We have this forest here with quite green foliage at the back and beautiful tree in front. Now let's navigate into the tools, again into the color transfer tool in the creative section. And again, we have to select the reference image. So we're going to click on the drop down box. I already have it here. However, for you again, plus sign, navigate into reference images and select the photo here. Now looking at it, since we already here, notice the colors here, the orange in the leaves, the red at the bottom and that very interesting white blue glow. So what we're going to do, we're going to select it and click on open. Once the effect is applied, Looking at it, it doesn't look that great. We have a patches of yellow with a green and it's just not great. So we need to make further adjustments. Now for the extreme transfer, it's usually a good idea to take the amount slider and bring it all the way up. So that's the first step. After that, looking at it, you can see that the luminosity doesn't really work. It's way too strong. So what we need to do is to take the luminosity intensity and bring it down. Now let's have a look at it. How much? Maybe somewhere around, let's say 20. After this, we need to move into our smoothing. It's the smoothing that creates this difference between the colors. And as I mentioned earlier, the more smoothing you add, the less of the transfer of the colors is going to happen. So what we need to do is to take our transition smoothing and actually bring it down. We need to lower it. And by doing that, you can see that now we are almost there. We have all the yellow leaves and we have that red bottom. And when it comes to color smoothing, we're going to actually take the slider and bring it up. That way we get much more natural result. So now we really have that yellow orange in the leaves and trees and the red at the bottom. So let's have a look at it before and after. Again, looking at the reference image, let's just do that. You can clearly see how much of the color and the luminosity was transferred over and how extreme you can be with transferring the luminosity and color using the color transfer tool. Now, before we going to finish, I want to quickly remind you that this tutorial was powered by our Luminar Neo Autumn Bundle. Now this incredible bundle includes over 721 new autumn elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. Once you get it, you will get high definition presets, LUTs, skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames and working layers to transform your autumn images with just a few clicks. Now to get it for the best possible price, use the link in the description of this video and to find out more about it, head to our website cleverphotographer.com. And just like that, we have finished with today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you give it a like and if you have any questions about today's topic or Luminar Neo, then write them into the comment section under this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future content. For today, my name was Jacob Bors and I can't already wait to see you in our future videos.